Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has officially released today iOS 15 and developer beta 4. As predicted, Apple is still on a two weeks release schedule for iOS 15 betas. I talked about this yesterday on my video. This one comes in one day shy of two weeks, so one week and six days. So pretty much two weeks release schedule, and that could be changing soon. But of course, in this video, we're gonna go over everything that's new with an iOS 15 developer beta 4. There's actually quite a bit of improvements and welcome changes, especially to Safari and notifications. One thing I do wanna mention is as always, Apple has updated all their other platforms as per usual. Mac OS Monterey Beta 4 is now available for registered developers. iPadOS 15 Beta 4 is now out. WatchOS 8 Beta 4 is available. And of course, TVOS 15 Beta 4 is now available for registered developers to download it as well. Now, if you're in the public beta testing program, this is not out for you just yet, but I would say 24 to 48 hours after iOS 15 Developer Beta 4 for registered developers, public beta testers, you should see this, if not even less than that. So just stay tuned and make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when the public beta is available. Now, this one came in at approximately one to one and a half gigs uh, from beta three to beta four, and that's always going to depend on your device and the software that you're updating from. And the first thing we're gonna take a look here is the build number. This one has the build number of 19A. 5307G. And the first thing I want to talk about is Safari. I do have another iPhone here running a previous beta just to give you guys some reference. So in Safari, Safari has been somewhat controversial in iOS 15. Some users like it, some users don't like it as much. I'm kind of in the middle, but there's some welcome addition and changes here to Safari. The first thing you'll notice here on the right, we have the previous beta, this one here on the left is the new beta and you can see here that we have some welcome changes for example we no longer have to tap these three dots here to get reload or sharing options here we now have directly options within the toolbar here right here where we have the tabs we have the option to share directly from here we also have a reload button next to the url which is very very welcome and of course if we tap and hold within the url we now have the option to show bookmarks which is always a welcome addition now as i mentioned safari in ios 15 has been somewhat controversial apple has made some changes but this is definitely a step into the right direction and within safari in the ipad apple has added mac os monterey style tabs so that's also new for ipad os so apple continues of course to tweak Safari within iOS 15. Now there's also some changes to notifications, very welcome changes for that matter. If we head on over to settings here, take a look at the notifications icon. It is different on the latest beta. It has this bell with a notification. You can see here on the left, slightly different. And there's actually new notification options. So right here under schedule previews and summary options, we have screen sharing options for notifications. So if you airplay something, to a TV or mirror something to a TV. Previously, you would get notifications displayed if you're airplaying something from your iPhone to a TV. Now you have the option to turn off notifications so that they don't show up on the TV if you're airplaying something from your iPhone or iPad, which is a welcome addition. Now within the actual FaceTime, we now have screen sharing. And this option here also turns off notifications on the screen for screen sharings on the other end. So if you're sharing your screen with someone on FaceTime, you can turn this off option on and the other end of the other person will not see the notifications that are incoming into your device so as you can see there allow notifications allow notifications while your iphone is share play or screen mirroring so you no longer have to be concerned that your notifications will be displayed on the screen when you're screen sharing or air playing onto another tv set so welcome additions there to the notification system now there's also new changes within the actual widget so let's take a look here there's several changes to widgets to the calendar widget for example there's a new widgets available so right here you see that the up next is now first instead of the monthly calendar if we scroll over once we have new options for the up next which is a different size right here and then we go over to the up next larger size instead of the medium just a new widget has been added and renamed here we also have a new list for the calendar widget as well within the latest beta now here if we head on over to the actual news widget so let's head on over to the news widget here there's also some minor changes and renaming here to topic instead of today and you can see right there just the renaming of the actual widgets has been changed 
on the latest beta as well. So big changes to the calendar widget, adding that new list view and uh, new changes to the aesthetics of the news widget within the latest beta for iOS 15. Now there's some minor changes to focus as well. One option here within focus that's now no longer available on my end here. If we go to focus here and we go to do not disturb, we no longer have the time sensitive notification toggle that we have previously on this beta, which is kind of a bummer. I, you can still do it. You can still set up the time sensitive notifications, but you have to go through the setup process of setting a focus status in order to get that option, turn it on or off, which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully that comes back. But other than that, just minor changes within focus. The UI itself doesn't look to be changed, at least on my end here for the latest beta. I'll continue digging around the software as per usual. So make sure you stay tuned to my follow-up video where I take a deeper dive and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I come across after I use the software for several days. Thank you for watching this quick update today, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.